So this is our TRX-6, 6x6. Six six. We went through a little bit of a transformation and I'm here to share with you all the details about it. Okay, so we have the TRX-6, AMG-63, 800,000 vehicle, kind of a kind of a baller vehicle, off-road capable, but it'll never be, probably never make it off-road if you spend 800 grand on it. And uh, every time we've taken it out, the Traxxas version, we've been impressed. And we're like, wow. So we've, we've produced a few videos about it, but I hope you've seen our latest video. Um, click here it's pretty awesome it's the first of a series that we're gonna do where we said i wonder what it could do it if it was it was more utility vehicle it could actually do something carry something and it was a lower cg you know so it was kind of conflicting conflicting requirements that we did but what came up was a unimog flatbed right here and uh, i'll tell you all the details about it so uh, an amazing vehicle this vehicle, TRX-4, TRX-6, uh, is pretty much stock, especially the tires. But the climbing, the articulation is crazy. The, the vehicle is dominated by the presence of the, the last axle, not the middle axle, but the, the, the rear axle. Basically, when your vehicle is about to tip over, can't climb, the axle is there. Instead of doing this, it does this. <laughs> Same thing, instead of flipping over descending it just sits because it's it's heavy here so instead of a little freak vehicle that can't do anything you know kind of a a mall crawler it's a real crawler it's crazy of course it's big and so we tried to address some of these issues so this is the original body it's got all the it's all the goodies here muffler skid plates and whatnot and it's got potential lights and everything but it's it's top heavy you know so we we're always wondering what can this thing do if we had a lighter body and sometimes we take the body off and we kind of saw like oh man this thing this thing can do a lot so unfortunately there's not there's not a lot of options out there in fact there's no options out there if you wanted another body maybe later you'll have a couple options but really it's a specialty vehicle you gotta make your own for now at least so we have our our builder extraordinaire randy uh got got going with it he, he you know he just he just planned a couple seeds for them and he just he just has ideas and in this in this case the seed was the actual unimog body you know for their for their small unimog you know the uh uh the one with the short wheel base four wheel drive not six wheel drive so you can have this for i believe 40 bucks at aiming i will have a link in the description and then the bed is after you is up to you you can make a half cab meaning uh nothing on the back it's just an exposed uh what do you call that a uh, not half cab but a, an, an exposed cab in, in the in in the back but in our case said let's make it actually look pretty look look good and useful so we had a flat bed so here is the flat bed and so we got the body the next part was the bed the bed is 18 gauge aluminum and 18 gauge is uh, 1.2 millimeter stick and it's about a, a pound and another pound uh, yeah about a pound uh, per one square foot so it's it's not that heavy but it's quite strong and it's especially particularly strong if you bend it in places you know give give it some some uh, some structure so let me let me take out our little props here but what's really cool is, you know, if your track uh, crawl spot is a little far away, you could you could carry it. Uh, you could carry a vehicle, like, just as we did with our actual Capra, and and we have some other tricks up our sleeve. So here it is. Uh, it has a ridge here, you know, to give it some. Uh, what's happening here is there's some 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 bumps here for lights and shock towers that were kind of high, and we. Uh, we raise it up here and, and, and put it down and stepped it down 
and to give it and still has the, the tire clearance needed it's kind of wide uh, to accept a lot of the uh, vehicles that we have especially the capra and the, the the tires the axles actually have a wheel spacer it has i believe a uh, seven or eight mil wheel spacer on the rears not in the front but it's really it's a key mod that makes this vehicle so capable at speed with brushless you know less tipping over a little more laterally stable and has this aluminum bar here it's a tubular bar and it gives it uh, a connection structure and it actually is a roll bar you know we, we expect to do a lot of things with this vehicle and it might tumble and that's going to protect it and then it also has these side panels uh, where the electronics are exposed so that it, it just covers the the uh, the electronics just a little aluminum plate you know uh, the decorational but there it is uh, all the all the travel is still there you know yeah it doesn't interfere with articulation and the step allow gives it some some actually some uh, with a what do you call it a a uh, a seat for your tires you know so they don't they don't they don't escape from water okay so the most important thing is how does it attach to the vehicle and what we did is we followed the actual philosophy of uh, putting it on a hit on a pivot and also uh, two body pins in the in the front so let me move things around so you can still see me So there it is. So the back has a has a swivel mount. Uh, it's attached to the frame rails. So it goes like this. It doesn't go open up all the way right now. Uh, it only opens up to here. So you can do your battery and whatnot. And to take the whole thing off, it's really just two bolts, two screws. So very easy. And it's indexed in the front by these two body posts that go into the bumper. But go into the bumper, put a, put a couple body clips, and you're done. Um, and it's not in the, in the, the side thing, the side uh, the side covers actually index it too. So there you go. Um, kind of a marvel of engineering, you know. It's not marvel engineering. It's a simple solution to an interesting problem. But now we're seeing the potential of crawling. So what does it weigh? It weighs. Uh, 690 grams uh, a pound is 454 just for your reference and this one the body that we took out uh, weighs 670 grams with all its accessories you know uh, what do you call this uh, skid plate muffler bumper body mounts so and lights as well so it's about the same but this one is a lot lower we think because instead of some of the weight being here all the weights really just at this level so it should perform better under center gravity the one thing really cool uh, is you might not be into this body but it, it's actually it's it's got some some utility it's it's a it's a burly body you can take a beating and it's got some beautiful lights look scale and everything else so if we wanted to replay to put this body on here it is a matter of you know maybe less than five minutes you know everything is bolt on so you, we can put this uh put it back to original put it back to stock <laughs> and no problem at all the only required mod when you buy this vehicle is the metal servo horn uh, because they have plastic no chance of that surviving uh, a, a real a real good session out in the woods and you don't want to be stranded out there the metal servo horn is only seven bucks or maybe nine super cheap but it's specially made for Traxxas to, to still give it the the um, uh, suspension travel and not interfere with the links most of most uh, uh, horns we've tried interfere with the links we have a, a, a brushless servo that's I think very important for this vehicle since it's a heavy vehicle and it can do a lot and finally we have a brushless motor it's our number one recommendation for the vehicle not required but that that's what's going to bring the potential that's why it can tow a lot of stuff and and what you call it it can go fast go way well over 20 miles an hour so everything you see has these stock tires 
which is just appalling. You know how I've never seen a stock pirate perform that well. It'll perform. It'll. It's crushing some of our other vehicles on some climbs with Proline Hyrax or Voodoo KLRs. So, and these are stock. So we are wondering what's, what can it do if it had six modded tires with heavy wheels, soft compound and dual stage foam. So we have that uh, in the works. Another thing we have coming in is heavy duty shackles. So we're gonna put shackles all around here so we can attach the stuff that we are going to use and how are we going to attach it we have this bungee cord so this is by yeah racing and this uh is this is by hot racing uh bungee cords but you can cut them and and uh, specify them to length we'll have links in the description as well kind of cool and we're gonna have some attachments here here and here but we're gonna we're gonna do some fun stuff with it so so stay tuned subscribe make make sure we'll have some some cinematic video we have a new camera which is kind of cool. I'm using it right now, no remote mic. So the, the first video that we saw was shot with this new camera, available at the A main as well. And it is the GoPro Hero 8. Finally, GoPro, eight versions later, makes a real camera. It's really good. Uh, no remote mic, but it's, it's gonna be available and all that, hope it sounds okay. Uh, we're gonna carry some beer. We're gonna, you know, maybe, maybe a, um, a tiny home <laughs> I'm so just I'm so entertained by myself so what do you think we should do you know with this vehicle what should we carry what kind of movies videos should we make we want to make a little like a little storyline maybe a, a rocket launcher or something uh, a drone Ooh, a drone taking off boom boom uh-huh and we have a we have a, a body uh, uh as well for this so how should we paint it you know what kind of ideas do you have for us you know the cool thing about the hobby is is it gets you out there but it it, it gets the creative juices flowing so to speak right it, crawling is one thing but if, if you can make if you can ex extend the sweet spot of, of the crawling you know do do a little do a little trail run do a little bit of a, a little jump here and there you know, it just adds to the experience of, of one of the greatest special interest hobbies out there. RC hobbies, RC crawling and, and RC cars. All right. Thanks a ton.